Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Abartha Rupani and in today's video, I'm going to talk about another stream under Ontario PNP and in this video, I'm going to talk about its requirements, its processing time, its fees and its complete application process. So without wasting any time, let's start. First of all, let's understand what this stream is. So basically, this is one of the immigration streams under the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program which gives opportunity to master's graduates from Ontario to apply to get their PR. It is actually a great opportunity for you guys to apply from inside or out of Canada to permanently live and work in Ontario. Let me just walk you through its requirements one by one in detail. The first requirement is education and guys for this stream, the minimum education you need is a master's degree from one of the eligible universities in Ontario and that has to be within the last two years and guys the list of those eligible universities is here and the link of this is given in the description box below you can check it out the next requirement is language test you must have a language score of at least six in each skill and that is equal to CLP level 7 okay now let's see how much funds do you need for the settlement you need to show a proof that you have funds that will support you and your family members during your job search after you arrive. The minimum amount required for your application is based on the size of your family members. For example, if you have four people in your house, let's say you, your husband and two children, then the minimum amount you need to show is $24,083. And guys, the link of this uh, settlement funds is given in the description box below. You can check it out. Okay, so another thing that you need to show with your application is your residency in Ontario. That means you must have resided in Ontario for at least 12 months out of two years uh, prior to the application. And guys, it can be cumulative. That means your uh, add up period of residency in Ontario needs to be 12 months within the past two years and there could be gaps too. Okay, so the next requirement is that you must show your intention to live in Ontario province after you get your PR approved. And these are number of factors on which they will determine your intentions and if you're applying from within Canada then your status should be legal let's say it could be visitor record or a study permit or work permit at the time you apply and should maintain that status until the time of nomination now at this point you should have all the documents gathered and guys this is the list of those required documents and the link of these uh, documents is given in the description box below you can check it out okay once you have gathered all the required documents now it's time to submit your application for master's graduate stream and in order to do that you need to go to their official website which is OINP and guys the link is given in the description box below so scroll it all the way down and click submit an application button and then it will bring you at this page click i'm a robot and press continue now click new applicant and then you will come at e-filing page where you will see tons of streams under oinp but you are interested in master's graduate program but guys right now it is closed and you cannot apply to this however i will give you a heads up if they ever announce to open this uh, stream and guys the steps to submit an application under this stream is same as other streams so i am going to show you how to submit an application under one of other streams so that whenever they open up the window for this stream you can apply right away so anyways whenever they open up this master's graduate stream all you have to do is just click this icon and then it will ask you for the confirmation and then click yes as i said all the steps to submit an application on e-filing page are same for all these streams so i am going to show you the steps on one of these streams and that is human capital priorities stream and then press yes enter all the required information such as last name first name and your date of birth and then press next it will bring you at this page where you will have to sign up for the one key account in order to create your profile so create your user id your password and enter all the security questions for your account recovery and then press 
sign up button and then press continue for the confirmation and that will bring at this page where you can create your profile in order to submit your application and once you complete your profile then click the finish button at the end and that will bring you at the main page of e-filing where you can start your application and guys you can also use this OINB e-filing guide in which you can learn how to submit an application so they have mentioned each step into detail and the link is given in the description box below you can refer it and guys just so you know that it takes approximately three hours to complete your application and you don't have to do it all at once but you must submit your application within 14 calendar days after you first register after you submit your application you will get an email to confirm that they have received your application and if your application is successful you will receive a nomination approval letter and an OINP certificate of nomination by email and your next step is to apply for permanent residence to IRCC directly within six months and let me show you where to apply for PR so all you have to do is just go to their official website which is cic.gc.ca and the link is given in the description box where you can apply for the PR and guys this is the paper uh, application for the PR so all you have to do is just click how to apply and click the application package and it will bring you at this page where you can find all the required application forms that you need to fill out and guys there is one document all the way at the bottom which is called guide for provincial nominees so don't forget to refer it because it will give you all the directions in order to fill out your application form it will also help you to avoid all the possible mistakes and once you fill out your application then you need to pay your application fees and that is PR application fees and guys the instructions you can get for the payment from this link and it is given in the description box so the total fees is 1325 and it's been increased because before it was 1040 and that includes uh, the right of residence fees as well as the application processing fees and you also have to pay the fees for biometrics which is $85 Canadian and before you submit your application guys please ensure that you have signed and dated all the documents and forms you have included all the required supporting documents and then answered all the questions and then once you confirm and ensure that everything is perfect to go then send your application to this address which is already mentioned and i would recommend you to send your application by registered mail because it is more reliable as compared to the regular mail so anyways now let's move on to the application fees for master's graduate stream and it is $1500 and guys it is non-refundable and the processing time for this stream is 30 to 60 days to process your nomination application and for PR the processing time is different and it is 15 to 19 months Okay, so that was pretty much it for today and if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. I will try my best to answer them as soon as possible and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I'll see you again.